Hi there, everyone. I'm meteorologist Ashley Baylor with a check of your latest forecast. Just another quick reminder that daylight saving time ends overnight. So as you can see, heading into Sunday, the sun will rise right around 630 and then set just after 5 o'clock in the evening. And the days are going to continue to get shorter. By the time we reach Thanksgiving, the sun won't rise until a little bit closer to 7 o'clock in the morning, and it will set right around 450. So it may be dark for people as they head out the door to go to work and by the time they're heading home. So and it turns into a bit of a bummer this time of year. Here's a look at our future track forecast. This shouldn't bum you out. The fact that it is going to be beautiful on Sunday. We will be tracking plenty of sunshine from start to finish and as a result temperatures will top out in the mid 60s. So a few degrees warmer than it was today. As we go from Sunday night into Monday morning expect mainly clear skies and that'll set us up for a beautiful Monday. It will be just a touch cooler with highs a little bit closer to the 60 degree mark. But tomorrow look for a high of 65 degrees in Nags Head, 67 in Ahoski. Across the south side just a touch milder with a high of 68 at Virginia Beach. About 67 in Portsmouth. Across the peninsula, nice and comfortable. 68 in Newport News, 65 degrees in Yorktown, points north of that and along the eastern shore, 63 in Melfa, and 63 degrees in Gloucester. Here's a look at our seven day forecast. So 60 degrees on Monday. Here comes election day on Tuesday, and temperatures will be in the mid 60s with mostly sunny skies, so you won't be able to blame the weather for not getting out to the polls to vote. Now, on Wednesday, a cold front will drop through. It may spark a couple spotty showers, and it's not a great chance we're seeing raindrops, but worth the mention nonetheless. We will be dry Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but notice temperatures go from the mid-60s on Friday to the mid-50s on Saturday.